Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Inked Reader. Today we are opening up the May Fairylet YA book box. Um, I am I'm sick, my body's fighting something at the moment, so I don't feel great. So this came in the perfect time. I didn't want to initially open it up on camera because I don't have my face done which I don't necessarily have to but because I'm sick I look practically pale and ghostly but said that I really needed a pickup today to feel better to have a smile and I thought well it's better than just open up some goodies so we're gonna go with a natural look tired of sick natural look and we're gonna open up this uh, I think I already cut it so it should be so this is what it looks like. Oh, something just dropped on my knees. And I guess it's a spidery card. Yes, it is. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read. I'm just gonna show you the card, but I'm not gonna read. Cause I am just gonna pick up the first thing it's in here. So, ow, I just, I, cut, I just cut myself. It's really not my day today, is it? It's okay, I'll be fine. Oh, okay. So I can see a mug inside. I don't know, I think I want to keep it for last. So I'm going to put the mug here for one second. No, but the rest. So first of all, we have this box. Looks like this. It looks like it's very lightweight. So it's a Stardust Tea Strainer. So I don't know what... Because I don't drink tea. Yes, I know. I live in England and I don't drink tea. Ah, oh, I know what that is. Always looks pretty. Such a pity that I don't drink tea. I'm gonna keep it anyway. So this is what it looks like. This is an original idea though. I mean if you drink tea, which majority of people do, um, and it says neither here not there but long ago. I really like this. I think the details on it are very very good. And it's an awesome idea if you drink tea. This looks, this looks cool. I might find other usage for it or if I have a friend who's a fan I might just pass it on I don't know we'll see for now it stays in the box so let's see what's next so we have paper oh, what is this oh I love these oh these I use a lot these are actually scrunchies blood and ash scrunchies I think we're already almost done with the items probably because of the mug so if a mug is a bit of a bigger item, more fancy, they probably put one item less. I think. I don't know. So it's got this one. I really like them because they don't pull my hair out as other things do. So yeah, scrunchies. And then in here we have these from the blood red rising, sorry. Um, bottle opener. Okay, this is useful. I need to continue with that series, don't I? Oh, come out. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, it says... Ah, no, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Yes, it's in Latin. Yes, I'm Italian. Doesn't mean I can speak Latin. We do study in school sometimes. I went to a more scientific um, high school. So we didn't study Latin, which is a pity. I would have loved to. But I'm not going to attempt it. This is cool. This is, uh, this is cool. It's a bottle opener and I'm loving it and then yes we do have the book and the mug oh I think yeah first of all let me show you the cards we have inside here oh we got two beautiful bookmarks I don't know where they are from they're collectible though I might use them for my journaling because they're just too stunning to be used for anything else like I don't want to put them in books and ruin them unless I can well ever proof them so making them impossible to ruin I'm gonna have a look at the spider card later and see what they are from and then we got the tarot card I think we are continuing with the celestial deck and we have Empress And I can read the hero path and the hero path. Two thousand years later. And the hero path. I'm probably not saying this correctly. 
But oh, I mean, I challenge you to say that correctly. Oh, this looks amazing. What are they from? I have no idea. I need to read where they are from. Okay, so it is time for the mug. I believe this is from Celestia Kingdom. Is it from Daughter of the Moon Goddess? Well, this is a proper mug, guys. Oh, I'm in love. I'm really in love. I've not even. First of all, yes, purple. Light is not helping, is it? Oh, come on, reflection. Oh, this does look amazing. I. To be honest, because I drink hot chocolate every day, sort of, or like milk, um, mugs were one of the items that I would have loved the most in my book box, boxes. And so, the fact that we have these, ah, oh, this is absolutely stunning. I don't know, I don't know if I want to use it or just display it because I think this is from um, Daughter of the Moon Goddess but I'll read the spoiler cards in the end and then we've got their book so their book has well purple pages which yes please Lil Liliac I love Liliac I don't like purple but Liliac I do love oh first of all we have stuff inside so let me take them out um, this card, oh, this is the art, and oh, that's it. So we got the author card, which I'm not going to read because I don't want to get spoiled. They got this one, which for next month theme is chosen ones. And this was Clock and Dagger. And then we have got the bookmarker on the book. I got a hint that I have no idea what this book is. I don't think I know what book is it. I don't think I've heard of it before. And this book is The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. I've never heard of this book before. I don't know. I think lately I've been very busy so I've not been on booktube too much. Therefore I might have skipped some like new releases that might come out and people talking about new releases so I don't know what this book is, what it's about. Let me take it out, just check it. Wait. Here's what it looks like. I just realized this is from the book, it's inspired by this book. I didn't bother to read the author of this quote so apologies so, to be fair um i really love the color palette i don't love this cover i mean from once upon a time daughter of goodness let me see the spray pages it doesn't have so i mean compared to other editions of fair loot this is by far one of the most simple one the one that probably I like the least doesn't take away that this is a gorgeous book and that I really love the color palette and I like the um, pages inside but fair loot can do better at least I could have like done like something on here so I could have flipped it over okay so I read the synopsis and for what I gathered this is about this midnight merchant and she our main protagonist this girl she is a teeth of magic so she steals magic and she resells it and one day she by mistake i guess she saves the life of this cowardly prince so, and by doing that she catches the attention of a sultan and he tasks her to go and retrieve an ancient artifact unless she wants to be executed because she's under at the end of the day a criminal. So of course she has no choice whatsoever in the matter. So she goes on this adventure to retrieve these artifacts and she has the help of her jean bodyguard, but also the help of the oldest son of the Sultan. And yeah, the three of them have to survive. And I guess these are the people that are in here, I guess. The Jean and the other prince, I guess, and our main protagonist. 
we will see we will see i've never heard anything about these as you know i try to kind of keep up with my fairy loot edition so we probably did these in june it says a book one so it's a trilogy so to recap red rising bottle opener yes loved it um stardust pre trainer and again i've already shown you this twice by now so it really doesn't need more attention although it does because it's gorgeous but at the same time this is from a book blood and ash is a series i've not started yet i do only the first book but i mean scrunchies yes please then we have the daughter of the moon goddess mug which i've read a few months ago and although i didn't love the book itself i definitely love this mug and then we have mythology bookmark okay these are Loki oh okay Loki and Kumiho okay so this is well Loki and this is Kumiho I don't know who she is from though can you let me know in the comments down below and the tarots are from these hollow vows which I've not read and she is Brie guess and these guys are Sebastian and Finian no idea who was who because again I've not read the book but they look freaking gorgeous so I'm actually very excited about next uh, theme which is month in June chosen ones and the items are here I don't want to spoil anything because it's exciting opening the box but there are a lot of books that I've already read fandoms that I love so I'm very excited about these but also there are going to be two books in the next box so overall I liked the items uh, I think I like the art mostly of all and the mug. Uh, so, but items, I, I'm happy with this box with the items overall. Um, but the book is not the best in terms of design. I can't speak about the plot because I don't know the plot. But, so that, thank you for watching, guys. I'm gonna go and tidy up things. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!